doesn't love nachos? I mean, everyone knows it's a classic appetizer, but have you ever thought that you could have the same stackable fun for dessert? I'm going to show you a couple variations that I like to make, and then you can try this at home with whatever ingredients you'd like. So all we're going to do is make some sweet chips to replace our salty chips that you normally might use. I'm going to take a plain flour tortilla and brush it with a little butter. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it with something sweet like cinnamon and sugar. That's what I'm using here. But what you can do is cocoa powder and sugar if you want, something chocolate. So then you just take a pizza cutter, cut them into wedges like you would want your chips to be. And then I'm just going to put them on a baking pan that's covered with foil because that'll help with my cleanup later. And if you want to do something really fun, you can bunch up your foil a little bit like I've done here and drape your tortillas right over the foil and they'll come out a little bended after they're done broiling. This will make them maybe look a little bit more authentic. So now I'm just going to pop these under the broiler until they're a little bit crisp and golden and they'll come out looking just perfect for our nachos. So here's what they look like and I'm just going to build my nachos now which is the fun part. So here, rather than using sour cream, beans, and cheese like I might for a regular appetizer, I'm going to use some yogurt, fruit, and even some nuts. So I've got my nachos down. I'm just going to dollop some yogurt on top and then sprinkle with my toppers. Now this variation is a little bit more healthy, so I like to use this when my girlfriends come over because we've always got to have something to eat when we hang out. Here's my berries. Add a little bit of blueberries too. And then sprinkle with some nuts. It's a perfect little dessert that's a little bit healthy too.